This video is sponsored by NuVet Labs. NuVet Labs provides your pet with products that are completely safe, nutrient-rich, and formulated to strengthen the immune system, helping to give your pet many healthy years of life. Click the link in the description below or call the number shown and use order code 30690 and save up to 15% when you go on auto ship. New Vet Labs, your pet's best friend. Hey everybody, thank you once again for checking out another one of our videos. In this video, we're just gonna show you another under the eye cleaning on a Shih Tzu, very common in these guys. They're just notorious for getting all of that staining and that eye gook underneath. Uh, if you like the content in this video, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Um, so guys, in this video, we really wanted to show you this in particular because what's happening here is she's also blind, so she can't see. Uh, she's very apprehensive about touching her face and around her eyes, uh, but what we noticed in this is that the right side here underneath her left eye it's pretty clear there's no gook underneath there but on this right eye here it's it's very uh, caked up and you can see all this matting here and this gook and what's happening is it's very very close to the eyelid here so I don't want to go in there with my clippers just yet so in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get her in the tub and we're gonna kind of soften all that up and then get in there with the with the clippers and get it all out I don't even want to risk using any thinning shears or anything because I know I'll probably just grab her skin and I don't want that to happen. Um, again, she's blind so she can't see. Um, so again, she's just kind of very, very uh, touchy uh, around her face and she doesn't like me even handling her right now. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do though is, being that being that this uh, left eye here isn't too bad, I am going to go ahead and just kind of clip that out with my 10 blade. Just so we don't have to do it later. It's okay, Mama. It's okay, baby. Here we go. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, good girl. There you go. So I kind of just got out as much as I could under that left eye. And again, we're just going to go in the tub, soften this up, and uh, get as much of it as we can out. And we'll show you how she looks when she's finished. Okay guys, so we're just wetting her down here. I'm um, just gonna put this water pressure on soft because I don't want to shoot her right in the face with it. Again, she's just not crazy about the face being touched. I'm kind of just letting it trickle down her face here. And I'm just kind of just getting my finger in there, trying to loosen it up as much as I can with my fingers. And I'm just gonna start doing some shampoo. Honor, come here, baby. It's okay. And with this, too, it's a little bit of a challenge because, you know, we don't want to get any shampoo in the eye at the same time. If we do, we're going to just kind of immediately rinse it. But uh, we're using our fingers here, you know, just kind of pulling it away from the eye. And we may not be able to get it all out in the bath, but what we're going to do is we're just going to try to get it away from the eyelid as much as we can. This way we could sneak those clippers uh, behind the mat and just kind of scoop it right out. So again, we're just softening things up. It's okay, Bebe. It's okay, Mama. I know, I know. It's okay, let me see, let me see. Say, 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 say. It's okay, Mama. I'm using my, my thumbnail there. And again, it's just, Part of what we do, you know, I got that out with my with my fingernail, and again, a lot of a lot of comments that we get is, you know, you should be wearing gloves and stuff like that. But here's the thing, guys, you can't really do what we're doing, can't achieve what we're achieving wearing gloves. So we really do have to use our fingers and get in there, you know, and and you know, scoop it out, and it's part, it just goes along with the job. Okay, so once you do that, what you want to do is kind of get your comb and just pull it away like this. And we're just, the goal here is get all that gook as far away from that eye as you can. And then I'm gonna go back in there with the soap and get behind it all. It's hard to see, but I can feel what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is I'm just pulling all of that, all that gook away from the eye and just kind of pulling it out. 
Stay, baby. It's okay, mama. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Being, being careful not to poke the eye either. Once I feel that it's far enough away from the eye, then I'll feel comfortable getting my clippers behind it and just scooping it right out. It's okay, mama. Come on. Come on. It's okay, baby. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. There you go. Good girl, mama. It's okay. It's okay. Get some more soap back in there just to make it nice and slippery. Get as much as I can out. And you know, she's getting tired of it, so I'm just gonna kind of stop. But I got most of it away. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Come here, baby. It's okay, sweetie. Come on. Come here, baby. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, good girl. Okay. So that, that's progress. I got all of it away from the eyelid. Um, now, you know, we can just uh, finish that up and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so we got her out of the tub. We gave her a good bath. Uh, you saw what we did. We just kind of scratched all that gook out of there and, and we just made it a little bit more easy now to just get through. We can actually get the comb right through it. But what this does is it enables me to get my clipper blade right behind that now and scoop it right out. Um, just keeping in mind that, you know, she is blind. So anytime we come at her, she's always a little skittish. We got to come at these dogs slowly and kind of let them know that we're going to be working around their face uh, with these Shih Tzus. It's just very notorious. They, they always develop an eye problem. I haven't met a, an older Shih Tzu that hasn't had an eye problem. Uh, they go blind very easily, these dogs, uh, due to the fact that, you know, they're just very congested in this area and there's just this, this gook problem and this discharge problem that a lot of groomers see every day. Um, so uh, with that being said though, guys, you know, again, in her case, I just didn't feel comfortable um, getting that clipper back in there, I, I would have just to avoid all of the stuff that she had to go through in the tub. If I could get that out in one scoop, I'd much rather do that and make the bathing uh, easier for her under the eyes because, you know, believe it or not, she has to go through a lot more stuff to um, get the gook out as opposed to if we were just able to scoop it out like we did on, on her uh, left eye here, it, it would have just been that much easier. Uh, but again, I didn't feel comfortable doing that because all that gook was way too close to the eyelid and it was actually attached underneath here um, but we cleaned all that out and um, and again guys if you don't feel comfortable doing this please don't do it uh, just you know definitely result uh, go to your local pro uh, professional groomer and have them do it uh, don't attempt to do this if you're not completely comfortable doing it because uh, it is very tedious and you can uh, nick the dog quite easily. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is, before I lose her, her patience, is we're going to try to get the rest of this out now. And we're using our 10 blade. I'm just going to come up top. I'm just letting her know I'm there. And I'm just going to try to get that. There we go. There we go. Good girl, Mama. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl, it's okay. Oh, what a sweetheart you are. Look at that. What a good girl. There you have it. You know, now we got the rest out. Um, maybe hit, hit it with, the, hit the bangs with it a little bit too. And it's the, Try to get out as much as she's letting me get out, because it'll just avoid it happening sooner. And I just think it's much safer to do this with the clippers, guys, as opposed to trying to get in there with the thinning shears, because you know they, they these Shih Tzus have this little flap of skin right here, which a lot of times when you when you go to clip with the thinning shears, you'll grab that skin, and with the clipper blade, you, you just avoid that problem entirely. It, it just doesn't happen usually. You know, you, just a little safer to do 
But uh, again, just just give it up for her, just being so patient, and so sweet. Uh, just such a good dog. I've been grooming her for years now, and you, know, you can see her eye is very red. She she's battling eye problems. Um, but you know she's she's uh, being seen by the vet, and you know she takes eye drops because her eyes don't tear as well as they used to either. Uh, they kind of she gets that dry eye, and when they do tear, a lot of that gook is due to the medication and stuff that she's being treated with. But just guys, give it up for her uh, thank you so much for checking us out like if you enjoy the content subscribe if you're new and on behalf of Anthony and I thank you so much once again for checking us out guys